Welcome back to City Line. If you are someone like myself who uh, surfs YouTube quite a bit, you will have noticed some beautiful shorts about a Port Centennial public art uh, that uh, the city of Tacoma and the port are very, very proud of. So please join me uh, in welcoming three individuals who are here to talk about the making of and how brilliant it is. I'm talking about Mr. John McCarthy. Welcome, John McCarthy. You are the commissioner of the port of Tacoma. Happy holidays. Happy holiday, Amanda. Thank you. And then also down there in the bottom is the ever handsome J.D. Elquist. You are the retail advocate of Downtown Tacoma Partnership. Welcome, J.D. Thank you, Anna. Thanks for having me. Happy to be here. Good to have you here. And then Kendon Shaw with that beautiful ginger beard. You are a artist uh, with Rotator Creative. Welcome, Kendon. Thanks. It's great to be here. So, John, let's start with you first. Uh, tell us about uh, the Port Centennial Project. How did it come about and why did the port decide to commission artwork? Thanks, Amanda. Well, in 2018, two years ago, the port celebrated its 100th anniversary. Uh, it came into uh, existence when Pierce County uh, citizens voted to create it uh, in November of 1918. Uh, the port developed a community outreach program that focused on our 100th anniversary, and we did that over a period of 100 days in 2018. But the commissioners also wanted to do something that could make a longer term impact and connect with Pierce County residents for many years in the future. And that's when the idea of a port legacy project came about, something really big, bold, and highly visible in the community. So you mentioned big, bold, and highly visible. Uh, are those some of the goals of the project, John? Uh, they are. I, we wanted the project to really connect uh, citizens with port activities, a working waterfront, and maritime commerce. Uh, so that made Fireman's uh, Park really an ideal location for the project because it offers such amazing views of Commencement Bay, port facilities, and trucks. Uh, rail and shipping activity and lots of other activities. Uh, people can visit the park and get a sense of the excitement of the world of commerce that comes into and out of our harbor every day of the year. Uh, we also want the project to highlight some of the history of shipping activity as well as our current operations. So the details in swell with ships and cranes of yesterday and today really help achieve that. You know, it is it is another jewel in that fireman's park scenario. And when we think about that, Kendon, tell us about the artwork swell, as it's called. Uh, what does it look like and what is the concept behind it? Yeah, well, I'll start with the concept. The uh, the, the concept that we really learned and took from uh, learning about this from the port and the history is, is really the connection that the port brings to the whole region um, and not just the connection uh, of you know goods and commerce through, but also just the connection of people uh, and 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 the vibrancy of the of the region. And so we really took that as, as inspiration to try to bring this place that you can feel connected. Um, and we did that in a few different ways. We um, really were impressed when we got to visit the port at the scale. It's really easy to look out there and see uh, all the cranes and ships and stuff. But when you stand next to it and it's towering over you, it's really uh, awe-inspiring at, at the scale of the port and all the things they do there. So we really let that kind of inform the, the shape of the uh, sculpture itself, which looks kind of like the front bow of a ship coming up, rising out of the water. Um, and also the scale, you know, it's over 10 feet high at its tallest point, uh, swell is. And so it, it really feels uh, kind of impressive once you are standing right next to it and in front of it and inside of it. Um, and then through our, our uh, research and history and, and uh, historical fact finding and stuff, we've got to see many different uh, imagery and facts and understanding about the port and its just rich history and stuff. And so we let that inform the imagery that is water jet cut into the side. So all the imagery that you see is actually cut out of the steel panels that make up uh, the swell uh, sculpture. And then it's powder coated in a bright uh, kind of safety orange, which matches and we've, uh, matches the port colors as well. Uh, we've even got a few comments already. Did you guys do that on purpose? And we're like, yes, we did. 
Yes, we did. Now, not only are you an artist, but you're also an historian because the kind of research that you put into that is pretty impressive. So, Ken, did, who are some of the vendors that you worked with locally? Well, yeah, so um, on, starting off on the research side of things um, with, uh, of course, Rod Kuhn uh, uh, through the port, who's a, who's a wealth of knowledge and very, very helpful all, at every step of this project, um, but also different uh, information and, and uh, historical facts from uh, and, and factors from uh, historical society, as well as the Northwest Room at, at the library um, for some of their archives. Uh, for the imagery, but then when it came down to actually fabricating this and building it, you know, we're artists and conceptual designers and um, not exactly metal workers. And so we worked with the great, great folks uh, at SNS Metal Fabrication on South Tacoma Way, um, as well as JD, J and D powder coating. So SNS did all the metal work and fabrication and cutting out, as well as the curving of the panels and welding and all of that, and then shipped it over to J and D Power Coating, which uh, powder coated it and brought it. Uh, to life really, it was really, really amazing. Um, and then our friends at uh, Inline Northwest helped build the footing, the concrete footing that had, that it sits on, um, which is part of the ship itself that comes out of the water, as well as did an excellent job uh, in setting in the words that are in the concrete itself, and then helped us actually uh, erect it and stand them up and drill them in. And it's it's really fun to work at work with. Wow, I mean, I, I, I'm sitting here wishing I could have been, you know, a, you know, a, a mouse in your pocket to watch all of the installation happen. Yeah. Uh, documentarian in me is like, I, I want to see how it was made. So JD, as a member of the selection committee, what are some of the elements of the artwork that really connect with you? Yeah, thanks, Amanda. Uh, there are many things I connected with in regards to this art piece, but for me, there's really two big takeaways. It's kind of its iconic nature and it's storytelling, right? Tacoma is well known for its icons like the Murray Morgan Bridge, Tacoma Dome Museum of Glass, Mount Rainier, the Totem Pole, etc. cetera. Uh, the scale, size, and execution as well has the making of it becoming yet another icon for our city. Uh, I believe it's a piece that will be well known beyond our region. I'm also really drawn to the storytelling aspect as well. Uh, this is one of those things that makes Rotator Creative so special to my eyes. They're literally master storytellers. Uh, they do it in a way that's fresh and seemingly subtle. And also Swell is rooted in the story of us and because it's uh, because it's rooted in the story of the port, right? So for me, it's a storytelling aspect and it's the iconic nature of, of the piece. So beautifully said. So John, when you think about what people will learn from this uh, project about the port, what's on your list? What are some things that you hope they really understand? Well, we really expect that they're going to get a greater appreciation of the port in our region and how we really truly are connected to the whole global community. Uh, we have a naturally deep har harbor, uh, railroad and shipping help uh, bring jobs and prosperity to Tacoma and Pierce County over 100 years ago and help connect our region to a world of opportunity. Uh, those same factors continue to play a key role in our region's economic vitality today. And when you come and see Swell, you're going to enjoy not only great views, but things that were part of the history, such as a cargo hook, for example, is etched into the, uh, the artwork, uh, which was something widely used by longshore workers many, many years ago. Oh, I love that. Boy, I, I got to give you props for bringing props there, John. That, that's <laughs> quite fabulous. Nice so, so, Kendon, in addition to the cargo hook, what are some of the fun and interesting things that people should look for when they visit Swell? Well, we try to include a lot of different details. Um, one of the, the uh, I think the coolest and most impressive ones is the alignment with the mountain. Um, you may uh, you can see it right away once you walk up to it that the the alignment with the mountain um, through the Murray Morgan Bridge um, was a very very intentional placement of the sculpture itself. And so you can see the two giants that are at the front at the bow that are kind of pulling the Murray Morgan Bridge open. I've seen some other people flip it around and go the opposite way towards Old City Hall, which is right outside my window here. Um, so that's one of that's clearly the most uh, readily available uh, thing to experience and see. But there's a lot of imagery in the panels itself. There's a lot of hidden things, kind of like the, the hook that uh, John was showing, as well as the, the compass rose that is actually aligned to True North. Um, and as well as the, po I think the poem in the concrete really sets the tone 
to feel an impression. It's much less factual and much more impression uh, based and storytelling. Uh, so you can kind of read that, look at the, sim the other symbols and imagery that you get to kind of explore and discover on your own because it's, uh, it's something that's worth coming back to for sure. I can't wait to get down there. I mean, I, I was so enthralled by just the videos, but now I want to stand there and look through and to feel that aesthetic pull that you talked about. JD, so what would you say to encourage people to come experience the artwork and downtown Tacoma in person? Because you have your finger on all of that. Yeah. You know, I think in the midst of all that's happening in our world, I think it's important as ever to shift our perspective and disconnect for just a moment. I think Swell's location in Fireman's Park in downtown Tacoma offers both of those things, right? I think through your interaction with the piece, what I love about Swell, it's very interactive, as, as Kenan just mentioned. Through the interaction with the piece, it forces you to shift uh, away from your ordinary perspective. Uh, to capture the photo op that Kenan just mentioned, you have to engage and perceive the bridge and the mountain in a new way. Uh, it brings you more into the moment and offers a fresh perspective of something we all know so well. It's also interesting because all the cuts in the metal and the space between the pieces offers a unique perspective of our downtown. Kenan just mentioned that where you can actually flip around and look at Old City Hall, you know, kind of through the lens and it says Ammo Cat versus Tacoma, which is kind of fun and something that is, you know, just kind of a unique find there. Uh, and lastly, it's situated, you know, it's where it's situated at the bottom of Fireman's Park. It's rare to have such an open space in, uh, in a downtown. And it's even rarer that it offers views of the mountain and the bridge and the port. So just after, you know, the interaction with Swell, it's kind of nice just to stand there for a moment and just uh, deep breathe and kind of let 2020 go, so to speak, and just, you know, have a nice reprieve from our ordinary life and things happening in our, you know, our community and world. So, um, you know, I'm really proud of it. I think it's awesome to be able to just have an opportunity to go and uh, just disconnect and change our perspectives. Oh, my gosh, that was so beautifully said. That should be in a brochure or in a <laughs> Um, because I can just breathe that disconnect and think that would be such a good thing for me right now. So, JD, how can people find out more? And then how can they also share their own experience with the artwork? Totally. Yeah, I'm really excited to see how our community interacts with Swell. You know, it's one of those pieces that you have to take a photo of or in or with. And when you do, just make sure you use hashtag Swell to come on all social media platforms. And also to learn more about the piece, you can head to Rotator Creative's Facebook page. Wonderful. Gentlemen, there is not a higher compliment than to be a part of art that imitates life. And I think that all three of you and your teams and your partners have done that so well. So I thank you so much for being with me today and also being a part of uh, something that will be here in the next 100 years. So uh, thank you so much. Thank you, Amanda. Thank you. We have much more to come on City Line, so don't go away. We'll be right back. <laughs>